Brigadier Swami Ji's distinguished speakers on the panel, respectable members of the audience, and friends. Well, I begin with an apology that very attractive and engaging ideas had to be interrupted in order to economize time. Economics is not always a virtue. But then, with limited resources, we have to be wise enough. Otherwise, these presentations were simply superb and they went into the very essence, the very central point of the issue at hand, that is interfaith uh, global dialogue. <coughs> now, the cardinal principle of Vivekananda's ideas on religion is that of an essential harmony of every entity which various religions are expected to explore and experience. The unity is already there. It is for the different religions to bring it out, make it explicit, and make it workable. If we start from this very fundamental position, then perhaps some of the clouds would disappear from the horizon of the disturbed horizon of interfaith relationship. <coughs> well, it really doesn't amount to much if we simply go on announcing that all human beings are part of the same supreme being. We have to insist that this has got to be felt at heart and confirmed by, confirmed by one's religious practices. We oftentimes cite the very noble sentiment, Udara Charita Nam to Vasudhariva Kutumbakam. But there is this qualifier. It is only the Udara Charita that this Vasudhariva Kutumbakam ideal is perceptible. So the first thing is to be Udara Charita. And that was, I think, one of the running things of the present session that well, you have to be hospitable in terms of your ideas, whether religious or otherwise. Now, religion, in a sense, is a kind of belief system. And truly speaking, that kind of belief system only prescribes a certain set of behavior pattern and promotes a certain mindset. The latter is more uh, important, significant, and sometimes more uh, problematic. The fact that I belong to a certain religion may give me enough satisfaction. But does it not also give me an opportunity to develop relationships with other religions? Or should I just confine myself within my own religion? If that satisfies me, then perhaps that would be not much of a problem. But the problem starts when I also try to well, peep at, not look at, the religions of other people. And as we have been listening, with not an open mind, but with blinkered eyes, but with some sort of obsession with my own faith. So my choice is very clear. What kind of relationship do I want with others? Is it going to be a relationship of indifference? Is it going to be a relationship of confrontation? Or is it going to be a relationship of some understanding? And finally, is it going to be a relationship of friendship? That is the simple choice before us all. It would be a jolly good affair if matters stopped there. The problem arises when our search for relationship gets too consolidated and we shut ourselves. We develop dislikes which are not always founded on a rational consideration of what other people are doing. That is why there is this very valuable message that if we want to well understand others, we must first of all be sure that we understand ourselves. 
Have you ever cared to well, take a look inside and decide that, well, I am now in a position to talk about my religion. If that is not done, if that is not ensured, then perhaps I lose my title to confront, well, far less, well, enter into a dialogue with other religions. This other is a very sordid expression. Whenever we say the other, we have a tendency to separate ourselves. If that is the motto of life, to get separated, then there is no point in raising any question of relationship. I am not talking only about religion. In any kind of, well, mental, physical, and other types of you know, activities, if we really want relationship, there cannot be any, well, attempt, any effort, to shut oneself in. The extent to which this exclusionist attitude, excluding oneself, not only excluding others, the extent to which this could go has been horribly depicted in the 9 by 11 incident. But some 108 years ago, there was another 9 by 11. That 9 by 11 heard a tempestuous monk warning the world, sectarianism, bigotry, and its horrible descendant, fanaticism, have long possessed this beautiful art. They have filled the art with violence, drenched it often and often with human blood, destroyed civilizations, and sent the whole nations to desperation. There is no choice now. If we wear down the, the kind of tendencies which exonerate violence, which exonerate terrorism, which exonerate, well, all sorts of cruelty in the name of any kind of faith, then perhaps we are being the most despicable specimen of being irreligious. To be religious is to respect life. You cannot think of religion without life. And if anything goes against this vital principle of existence, that is life, if there is a program to kill people, if there is a program of elimination, then perhaps that is one of the, the most despicable, the most dangerous enemy that we must fight. Now when we talk about this very thing which Swamiji wished that it should be like that, that there will be the death knell of all fanaticism, of all persecutions, with the sword or with the pain. The pain is really sometimes mightier than sword. And of all uncharitable feelings between persons wending their way to the same goal. If that could really happen, then there would be no problem. And that would not really make us stand here and think so much about the possibilities of interfaith dialogue. We all know that in the Parliament of Religions, the all other representatives extol their own religions. And Samiji didn't do that. What brought the most admiration of not only the audience present, but also of the audience outside, the humanity at large, not the attitude of clinging to one's own faith, but the, well, the most expansionist attitude of Swamiji, that all religions are true. Unless this becomes the very premise on which interfaith dialogue starts, there is no point of calling one. Uh, <coughs> I am not going to, all the time, taking a negative view of the excesses of religion committed against other religions. Uh, I notice that although there are conflicts even among you know, religions which are supposed to be peaceful, 
peace club buddhism in cuba but i wonder why there are also other voices which are not really heard small voices like the bahais but they want that this should not be the order of things so there are many such small voices and which is why swami ji said that let there be more and more sects as it as was pointed out as many as there are human beings on earth so each human being has to decide for himself or herself what kind of religion he or she is going to adopt if you this back well somebody raised the question in this premises when we were discussing some some other thing and the question was why should we well we meaning the that part of in indian nationality which is known as hindus why we should write on applications official applications in the column relating to religion i am in this question is disturbing the young mind the choice is yours it is not a particular religious tag that you acquire it refers to the kind of faith that you want to follow the choice is entirely yours and if there is a great plus point in hinduism it is that hinduism permits you that choice free no other religion in this world no other religion really gives that kind of freedom you can even defy your god you can even criticize the gods and goddesses you can even make fun of them that would not diminish the glory of humanity as long as you remain human to the greatest possible extent being human is being divine that is the message of swami ji so if there at all be a serious effort at organizing a dialogue of faiths well then there certain conditionalities have got to be fulfilled and some of them are very material conditions indeed one is a clearly laid agenda that is focused so that one doesn't beat about the bushes so that no side issues will cloud the main theme so that no trivial matters unduly block the deliberations there should be no hedging about sometimes religionists are defensive and they know that wrongs have been committed wrongs are being committed but they try to hedge about it it is incivility for any representative of any religion not to acknowledge the exponent of a great religion a great religion is to say that i would like to worship in every shrine of whatever faith so let not there be any kind of side issues blocking the main agenda that is one number two there should be an accurate knowledge this has been pointed out by the speaker here there should be an accurate knowledge of what my religion actually teaches me without this arm in my hand well i certainly cannot set out to fight the battle of minds in respect of religion the third thing is we should be very careful about acceptance of patronage if you want to organize anything you need money you need space you need other amenities you need logistics and those require money of course you cannot go without money but then one must be very very careful about the kind of patronage that one accepts in order to organize a dialogue of faith among different countries i would also expect a very vigorous backup from the sensible sections of the civil society and some very prominent members of our civil society civil society in other countries they so often speak and so often write so much on interfaith dialogue well let them come out and let them take the responsibility of organizing not just speaking this kind of interfaith dialogue and i think i should add a fifth condition that is a responsible media action this is a world in which not propaganda but communication is the key word 
whatever is communicated is accepted, criticized later on, misunderstood immediately. And therefore, one has to be very, very careful that the true message gets through the public. And there is therefore a responsibility of the media. I wonder how many media persons have come of their own without there being a very formal and jodhar invitation with some you know, other things. In order just to attend this kind of conference, and there would not be hardly more than a couple of sentences, if at all, in the print media, far less the televised channels. The last word that I have in mind is, who else can we approach other than this organization, the Ramakrishna Mission, who have been practicing this faith for ages, and there has been its network all over the world, while well, trying to convert, convert in a very special sense, trying to convert the other-oriented, the other-oriented mindset of the different <coughs> people who regard other people as other only. The, the other organization that I can mention is UNESCO. We can also approach them if at all they are interested. So with these very few words, my <coughs> respect and pronoun to everybody, including the revered Swamiji Maharaj, where the mothers, Matajis, in fact, if Swamiji addressed the Chicago Parliament of Religion, sisters and brothers, I would also include mothers in my address. Namaskar. I am not saying that, but 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 I am not he has prepared the platform for us for interfaith dialogue. Even Shita Hoche, Ramakish Missionary, Bhavanuri, Ramakish Missionary, Bhavan Goriach, even Amadir is a chilimer, a chilimer. Amadir is a big to the other has to be to Nina. In the Tonga, a Rikabashira. On a cost to a platform, investor was a whole investor to the shop, Ulla Mulogia Saki, with Amadir was a commitment. समझी where we all agree to suit, to sit together for a dialogue. That is the divinity of all life. Christian Seho Jatsi Mojjire said to Varana Aja Aman Bhedwane the Durbhitto Aja that we get in us be manifested. That is Varana. And Varana is the Dhumi Pavitra, Amri Pavitra. Islam is the same. And we have the Hindu Dharma Jato Saka Aja, the same time. So we are divine. Divinity of all life, but I would say common ground. We can have a push. And I want to ask you, I was on a guru, on a summer, I want to be Sukho to the point. I want to talk about the Amade Potapolish, eight rows of the Havana. I want to know Samiji gave discussion around the Samiji of Bushan, a platform on the Masia. I want to be loyal. He wanted to talk. Ram distribution to a ball of Ito. एक डिवोटिस दे रुपए तो बोलो दाई तो जरा हमारे शक्ति बोलो एक आपके क्रिटिसाइज करा उधिक आज की राम किस प्रदाय नहीं जो जब आपने क्रिटिसाइज करा रामे किसने जिसको तारे से क्रिटिसिज्म आधा तार गाये आंचोर लगे तार गाये आंचोर लगे क्योंकि तेरे शक्ल से तो आदित्य दोस्तों में कुछ एक फीलिंग तेरी there are two announcements before we wind up the second session.
The first is all those who are interested in knowing more about the ideas of Swami Vivekananda, in knowing about Sri Ramakrishna, Sri Sharada Devi and Vedanta, may please go to our book stall. There you will find plenty of books available. Second announcement is 